Hi guys, Rhonda without an H here. Today I have a fun, fun little project that I want to share with you. I am a, a member of Junk Journal Junkies and there is a swap going on right now that this is for. Um, you are to alter a tin, an Altoid tin, and make a journal that fits inside and your your Altoid tin has to close. So this was really, really fun. And I'll put the link um, to Junk Journal Junkies uh, in the description below. And um, anyway, so let me just go through and show you what I've done. All right, I have included some embellishments I've got a little tag. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. Got a little leaf. Oh, the theme was autumn. This is uh, done in October. And then, as you can see, I've also got here um, uh, some strip quilting from some of my fall scraps that I used. And then to batting, I, I quilted that to batting and then I cut it out to the size and shape of the Altoid tin. This is fabric that I uh, glued on first and then glued on this additional batting piece. Although there's not, there's a, you can feel there's a little bit of padding still, but I wanted to make sure it was glued on really well. And I had stitched this. I used a decorative gold thread that I have that's pre and glittery. Anyway, just added, you know, a few little embellishments here and there. Um, here is, this is again fabric, and this is fabric, some pretty fall fabric, and I did uh, a little piece of uh, some of my yarn. All right, so let's open this puppy up and see what we've got. We'll put the tag back in. Okay. Here we go. So this is my journal and it might take me a minute. It was very tricky as to how to get it to um, fit in the little tin with the requirements, but I did. This is paper and this is paper, a pretty paper that I glued down. And this again matches the fabric that I did previously. This I painted with a metal paint, a gold. Although when you do, you know, this opening and closing, you know, it, it rubs off a little bit, but I kind of like that, that rustic, grungy look. Okay, here we go with the journal. As you can see, I've got a couple of little charms and a dangly attached to the book, to the spine. I love to include any of those of you who follow me on YouTube know that I'm all about mixing fabric, papers, laces, stitching, all of that mixed media together. And that's what I've done in this tiny little journal. So this is braille paper that I have used for the cover. I've got lace, I've got fabric, I've got some dyed seam binding. I have stitched some buttons on. Turn it to the back and I have glued on some music tape and uh, fabric leaf and I've signed it. So let's go ahead and open it and the the ties are fabric that I have stitched together. All right, so as you can see, when you open it up and you, you know, you, you try to put it in here, it's kind of like, woo! <laughs> so anyway, but it was fun. So you had to have six uh, sheets of paper for the journal. That was the minimum. And I have, I believe I've got 10 uh, in here. And so it's, it's a lot fatter, but it was fun. Okay, so opening it up, here we go. Um, this book belongs to, these are some painty papers that I have 
put on the inside. We've got a tag and we've got a little fold out for journaling. Little journaling spot in a pocket and this has fabric and lace and paper of course. Um, apples. That's definitely a fall thing and I love you know the vintage uh, printouts and so I've included some of those in here and this is a stamp that I have with the leaves fall is when nature turns to gold and then I have stitched down here in a decorative stitch and you see that pretty gold thread all right come up turn little paper so you've got journaling and you've got journaling and you've got journaling and you've got lace and decorative stitching and this again is braille paper and you've got journaling life is better with friends now this is a glassine pocket that I have glued some fun fall images on this is a little notebook that has like four sheets of paper so you've got this tiny little notebook Believe it or not, there's a lot of, you know, you could do a lot of journaling in here. Another tag. And I reduced some copies of, I have a, a book of school uh, songs uh, that are, I mean, they're just amazing. Some of them I remember from when I was in elementary school, but of course now you wouldn't be able to use them. Some of them are, are religious and, and they don't allow that in school. So you've got this on one side and you can journal on the other side. This, of course, is another little pocket, fabric and lace. And then some coffee dyed lined paper glued onto that. This is a wonderful little poem about fall. And you've got more journaling. This is deli paper that I have lined with, <coughs> excuse me, with tissue pattern paper. And you can write on that beautifully. Here is another little music sheet that's got three fall songs on it. Whoops, 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 whoops. I'm trying to be so careful and it makes me go. Okay. And another fabric pocket with some paper stitched on there. And we turn the page. This, I, I didn't say this is backed with a, a tea bag. Um, I don't recall what tea was in there, but then, you know, you let it dry, dump the tea out, and iron the bag, and, and use it. Um, here's a little leaf embellishment. We've got some notes. And more journaling paper. And embellishments. More notes. This is the other part of that tea bag dyed paper and created a pocket with that. There's a little bit of washi tape and another song. This is about shucking the corn. This is a Tennessee folk song. And of course, you know, in the fall, you shuck corn or that used to. And then we've got a corn sticker on there, but plenty of journaling. More journaling here with the pattern tissue paper. Some just pretty images, pretty beautiful fall images. Oh, that's on my bucket list, you guys. Someday I'm going to take an amazing fall color trip. I just love the fall. Autumn is coming. Here's a nice little tuck spot. And on the other side, we have another tuck spot but I didn't put anything in this one I did glue the leaf images on there and my book was so fat <laughs> that I you know I had to pick and choose what I could put in here we've got the other half of that glassine bag I told you about 
with a fun little poem and another little journaling paper and then we've glued on some fun texture and images. Here's the other part of that braille paper and we've got some fabric glued to that and the other side of that we have lace and lace and uh, ribbon and embellishments and paper and fabric and stitching. It's just so fun to do guys. And another apple image. After all we harvest apples, love apples in the fall. And then on the back side of this one we've got a tag that we've glued down. We've got some lace We've got fun uh, yarn. I think this is eyelash um, yarn. And then we've got some fabric that we've stitched down. And look, look you guys. I was able to, yeah, those of you that follow me, you know I love to make waterfalls. <laughs> so you've got six more little tiny journaling pages for journaling or for pictures or whatever you want to use them for. I just, I had to be able to include a waterfall. <laughs> and then we have this fun little image of this vintage girl with the autumn colors. And then here's the back of the inside cover. If a year was tucked inside of a clock, then autumn would be the magic hour. I love that. And I loved the, the typing on that too. And then I included another tag. And there you have it. Done, 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 done. So <clears throat> let's see if we can tie this up. Okay, we have to, we have to scrunch this really, really tight. <laughs> And we go hither, and we go hither, and we tie it like this. We snug this in. We put that in, we position that. And if I did everything right, this will work. I hope. Ta-da! <laughs> and there you have it. All right, this was super fun. Um, obviously, this little tiny journal didn't take me nearly as long as it does to do my regular journals, but I had a fabulous time. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye now.